Hello, I'm Natalie MacDonald. Now everyone loves a good bargain and it would seem consumers in the US are no different. A record 247 million shoppers visited stores and websites in the post-Thanksgiving Black Friday weekend this year, up 9% from 226 million last year. Merchants raked in an estimated $59.1 billion in sales from Thanksgiving Day through to Sunday. John Copestick from the Economist Intelligence Unit is on the phone with me now. John, retailers have chalked this up to heavy discounts, heightened advertising and earlier opening hours. What, in your opinion, has been the key driver? I think it's definitely a combination of those things. Um, I think the, the, the term Black Friday now is actually, um, it, it doesn't really have any, any meaning on the date itself. Uh, the fact that you know Walmart and Target and a number of other stores opened up uh, um, as early as 8 o'clock or even earlier on Thanksgiving Day itself. And the fact that the sales recorded it uh, spread out over the whole weekend, it means that um, on Black Friday itself, um, sales were actually, um, were actually down, but uh, that's because... People are now going out over the whole of Thanksgiving to shop. <clears throat> I think discounting um, and the, the, the bargain-hungry American consumer is definitely a big part of this, and this is now an entrenched part of the, the calendar there. Uh, and as a result, you know, these, these are the dates where people go out and go out and shop. So, you know, discounting is definitely one of the one of the big um, influences and tradition, I guess. Uh, and I think early early opening hours will, will, will only have helped on in terms of overall sales for the whole weekend. But as I say, on Black Friday itself, um, the sales weren't. Um, weren't necessarily as strong as they were last year. Other nations are also jumping on the popularity of Black Friday. Several major Canadian chains advertise Black Friday specials in Canada despite it being a work day for most Canadians. Whilst Australian retailers leapt on the US Cyber Monday bandwagon by launching parallel online sales. Are these flash sale type events becoming the go-to strategy for retailers worldwide? I think they are. Um, I think that the, uh, the fact that Black Friday uh, is now, um, you know, is known globally um, as an event. Um, you know, it's, it's not just that people understand that Thanksgiving. They also know that there's a Black Friday and there's a Cyber Monday. It means that, you know, the, and because a lot of you know retailers do have a global emphasis, it means that there's no reason why they can't try and try and sort of like you know uh, make these make these discounting days work in, in other countries. Uh, I mean, I personally um, myself, uh, I was received, receiving a number of Black Friday offers just by the fact that I'm based here in the UK. Um, from Amazon.co.uk and, and, and other retailers, so I think that there is this there is this sentiment that there's no reason why these why these dates can't go global. Uh, I think the, it's interesting that Australia have tried to create their own equivalent. Um, I think it's called a um, Click Frenzy, uh, which was the Tuesday before Black Friday. Um, that that was obviously very successful in terms of uh, visitor numbers at the time, but I think it was also a little bit unprepared for the traffic it got because the the, um, the Click Frenzy site closed down. Um, here in the UK, we already have uh, Mega Monday, which is usually the, the Monday after Cyber Monday. So I think that there's certainly these, these, these big dates uh, uh, that, that, that people can build uh, you know, some hype around and some, some excitement around and then, and then use that to um, encourage consumers to go out and buy and, 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 and take advantage of discounting. There's certainly um, dates that, you know, that, 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 that there's certainly strategies that are very, very firmly embedded in these, in these sort of global retail uh, companies. E-commerce sales topped $1 billion in the U.S. on Friday, a Black Friday record high and the biggest e-commerce day in the U.S. in recent years. There's been some discussion that strong Black Friday sales online will weaken growth on Cyber Monday. Would you agree? In a sense, it's, it's very difficult to say. I mean, the, the estimates for this, for this Cyber Monday are already that um, it's going to top $1.5 billion uh, U.S. dollars, which is, which, is, um, one, it's, 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 which is a quarter of a billion U.S. dollars more than last year, so um, there are expectations that despite the fact that there was a lot of online sales over the weekend, Cyber Monday itself will still top um, last year's Cyber Monday. I think that um, the trend that this is showing is simply that, that these things are morphing into, into one event now. Uh, you know, the Black Friday as a date is no longer Black Friday. People are shopping from Thursday to Sunday, uh, and Cyber Monday is no longer a date because people are going online the minute they finish their Thanksgiving dinner, and that's spreading out through the whole weekend. So uh, the fact that we you know you've achieved that they've achieved one billion uh, online sales before um, before Cyber Monday, which is only anticipated to, to get in 1.5 billion, that that shows that these things are all merging together. While aggressive discounting has undoubtedly boosted short-term sentiment, spending per shopper jumped six percent to 423 dollars. How likely is this to translate into long-term success? U.S. consumer confidence is due out tomorrow. What are your expectations, and how does this play out on your forecast for the festive period? Um, Indications are so far that the, the U.S. consumer confidence may be may be rising. Um, you know, you may see a, a stronger sentiment tomorrow um, than, than there has been. Um, uh, that may be a short-term driver. That may be due to things like these, these discounting these discounting frenzies. 
uh, I think that I think that things like Black Friday are, uh, are very much isolated incidents. There, they're, they're one-off events, um, and the hype that surrounds them grows more and more each year. So as a result, they will obviously grow more and more each year. Um, and then you have to take the aggregate. You have to take the the whole view of the whole of the festive ser- period and see whether or not people are taking advantage of Black Friday because then they're, they're, they're curtailing their shopping elsewhere. Uh, here in the UK, for example, and um, you know, indications are that this isn't going to be uh, much of a bang this Christmas. It's certainly going to be more of a whimper, and and that the, the growth is only going to grow um, perhaps one percent in, in the latest report I found. So I think that you know, in in terms of in terms of as an event, that they're great and they do have a huge boost in. In short-term sentiment, um, I do think that you know the, the longer view is, is definitely you know we'll, we'll see how Christmas trading comes when the firms release their, their data in, in January, and then we'll have to look at the year in aggregate as well because we've we've had some poor months this year, especially uh, over the summer and uh, and into October. John, thanks very much. That's all for now. I'll be back tomorrow with the latest press review. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>